Good day. This video is the answer sheet to Sudoku Primer video number 101. Uh, that video was a pop quiz, which means I just filled in numbers without saying anything, and you uh, try and follow along and see if you understand why each number is placed where it is. If you haven't already seen that video, I would recommend that you go there and Go to that video and watch it before you watch the answer sheet, this one. Um, uh, this is puzzle number 62, a medium puzzle from Sudoku to Go, volume 108, by Soap Opera Digest. So let's just get started here. I'll just fill in each number and explain how I got each of these numbers. So first of all, got a 7 there. And that's because there's only a 1 and a 7 missing in this column and there's a 1 there already. And then the 1 is the only number left there. And then I put a 1 here because of this 1 and this 1 and this 1. And then I put a 4 right there. Now, that's a little bit tricky for a medium puzzle. Not too bad, though. We've got a 4 here already and 4 here. So 4 could go there or there. But if you look at this 4, there's um, in this middle box right here, a 4 can't go in one of these places, so it has to go here. And so we have, and that covers this row right here. So we got a 4 here, ghost 4's here, and a 4 there. And then I put a 3 here. That's because we got a 3 here, 3 here. Leaves these two places, and there's a 3 there already. Seven goes there because there's one there, one there, and one there already. Only one place for a seven in that box because of these two sevens. Then I put a six right here. That's, that's a little bit tricky for, for a medium puzzle, but I'll explain. There were four cells in this box that weren't were still empty. Uh, one, four, six, and seven. There's a one here, so one can go here. There's a four here, so four can go there. A six there, so a six can go one of these two, and a seven here, so a seven can go in one of these two places. Okay, so we have one, four, six, seven. Okay. But we have a four and a seven here, so f these are four and seven, so they're four twin, four seven twins, and so one and six are left, and we've got a one here already. Then I because these eights here, I put an eight here. I could have filled this one in first, but I put the eight in there first, and then I filled in the one from the one six twins there. Okay. Now the four and seven we can't solve yet. And then we put a I put a nine here. That's because we've got a 9 there, a 9 there, and a 9 there. So that 9 fits there. And then we have 4 and 8 left. There's an 8 there, so I put a 4 there and an 8 here to complete that box. And I put an 8 there because of 8, 8, and 8. An 8 here. Because there's an 8 here and an 8 here already. 8 here, because there's 8, 8, 8. Okay. Then I put a 9 here. We've got a 9 there already and a 9 here. So that's the only place a 9 can go. Okay. Then I put a 5 here. Uh, there's only two and five left in this row, so I, and there's a two here. So there's another way you can look at that, um, and that is even if some of these numbers were missing, 
you can see there's a 5 and a 2 here and this is the only place they can go in this box is in the third row of that box so a 5 and 2 can't go there so these are two 5 twins so if some of these numbers were missing in this puzzle that's a way you could find those and then I filled in the 2 there there, now there's only one place to put a 2 in box 1 because of these two 2's. Then I put a 3 and a 4 here. And that's because we got a 3 and a 4 here already. So we had 3, 4 twins there and there's a 4 there. So we knew the 3 goes there, the 4 goes there. Then I put a 3 here and a one there, a three because of these two threes, and there's a three here already. And then after that three was placed, there's a one and a one there, so the one goes there. Only two numbers left here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five and six, there's a six there. So we know that's a five and that's a six. Then we can put the 1 here for a couple reasons. There's only one number missing in that column, and there's also a 1 here already, so we know that's a 1. And put a 7 there because of this 7. I could have put a 2 right here because um, that would complete this box, but I didn't. I put a 4 here first. And then I filled in, there's 4 and 7 missing here, if you remember those 4, 7 twins. And there's a 4 there now, so we can put a 7 there and a 4 here. Okay. And then I filled in this 2 in box 8. And I put a 6 here, because we had 4, 6, 9 here, and there's a 4 and a 9 there. So I put a 6 there. Then I put this 7 here. Now the 7 could have been gone here. See the 7 there, 7 there. So the 7 could have gone there. But I knew that's a 7 because we have a 2, 5, 7 missing in this column. There's a 2 and a 5 here already. Then I put a 7 here. And that's because of these two 7s. Only place for 7 there. And then I put a 2 right here. Now that two, um, I, I did it in an awkward way. There should be a five here because it's the only number missing in this row. And with a five here, we've got one, two, four, five, six, two, four, six, nine missing in this column if that five were placed there already. And we've got a four and a nine here, so we knew I knew this was a two and a six. And there's a six. There's a 2 here, so I knew that was a 6, and therefore I placed a 2 there. You know, that's a pretty awkward, um, kind of not the best way to do it, but that's how I did it. So, and then I filled in, and there's 5 and 6 left, there's a 6 there, and I knew that was a 6 from his 2 6 twins, so I filled those in. Okay, now I put a 5 and a 6 in box 7 here. Or I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here, I'm sorry. No, that's, that's correct. I put a 5 and a 6 in there. Now, how did I know that was 5 and 6? Because that 5 could be one of these two numbers, and the 6 could be one of these two numbers, right? Well, I've got a 6 and a 9 here, and this is a kind of a more advanced concept or technique. There's a 6 and a 9 here. Okay, the only two numbers missing in this box. There's a 6 here and a 6 here, so I knew one of these was a 6. Now, because of the ambiguity rule, 
um, which says that if you have two numbers missing here and there's six and nine and two, two numbers here missing and they're six and nine, um, you'd have a two solutions to this puzzle. Could you, because you could put a six and nine there and a nine and a six here or a nine and a six here and a six and a nine there. I knew that that's not the case because all Sudoku puzzles only have one solution. So I knew that since a six goes here, the nine, the other number couldn't be a nine. And so therefore, I knew that this was a nine. I didn't fill it in yet, but um, I filled in the five and six. Okay, I knew this was a nine, so I knew that the five had to go here because there's a five here already. So I knew these were five, six twins, and there's a five there. Okay. Okay, so that's how I got that. And if that ambiguity rule, then a lot of people call that unique rectangles. So that, that's a technique that other people use. Um, if you want to know, learn more about that, it's a, a far more advanced technique than for a medium puzzle, but I used it here. Uh, if you want to learn about that, go to sudokuprimer.com, go to the techniques page and look for the ambiguity rule, and you can see a little bit more about that. Okay, then I went to this box here. We have a five and six missing here. And there's a six there, so that's a five, and that's a six. Okay. Okay. And then I filled in the six and a nine here. Six there because of that six. And we know that's a nine, and so there's a nine there. Okay. And then I filled in the nine in, in this box right here. And two in there. Okay. And then we got a two in box three and that goes there because we've got a two here already and a two here already. And then to finish the puzzle we just put in a four, nine, and a five. Now I could have put this four and nine in here long ago because there's a four here, but I didn't. I didn't I was too busy looking at other things I guess. So I know that's a nine. And that's a four and that's a five so there you have it uh, answer sheet to video number 101 I hope that helps and uh, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time